Got some cream cheese for the morning. I did a little cheat and I did buy a potato salad, which I probably shouldn't do because we do have loads of potatoes, but hey ho, this is just to be Good quick. guys, I have another grocery haul for you today. And I went to our local butchers. I actually put the order in this weekend and they got it all done for us. I think I've told you guys this before, but what we do is we pay 30 pounds and we get 10 items. And you can sort of pick and choose from the different items because we're, you know, I figured out what my family likes and what they don't like. Um, so you can play around with the menu and then they'll package it all up for you. And for about 30 pounds, I can get about 10 meals out of it because I portion all my meals out afterwards, which I'm going to add onto this video and show you as well. So what I have for you is basically a butcher's haul, as well as I went to Iceland. Now I normally don't go to Iceland, I'm mainly just because all they do is frozen stuff, but they do do a lot of British frozen food. And I needed to get some fish, and I also needed to get like a couple little things for the cupboard. Um, this weekend I did do all my produce shopping, so I won't have that in this haul, but what I will do is go ahead and show you what I bought from Iceland and what we got from the butchers. Okay, so my total was 18 pounds and 37 P and that was from Iceland and this is what I bought. I got two packs of the pre-made rice. Um, you know, we always get the basmati and we get the pilau and mix them together. And um, I got two things of bread. We're going to be having burgers this week. So for the boys, I got wholemeal rolls. I have gluten free ones in the freezer for myself. And then I also got crumpets for school mornings. Um, I got fish cakes, those are for the boys, and then I got some prawns because we're going to be having prawn linguine. I got some cream cheese for the morning. I did a little cheat and I did buy a potato salad, which I probably shouldn't do because we do have loads of potatoes, but hey ho, this is just to be quick to go with our burgers. Um, now, Harry talked me into this, he was with me, which was pre-made Yorkshire puddings, but um, that's going to go with our roast chicken which is a nice surprise. Now, one thing Iceland does do, which I absolutely love, are their sweet potato fries. They are so good. And for two pounds, you get this massive pack. Um, and I absolutely love them. They're delicious. Um, we got some 100% pure squeezed orange juice, just some easy pasta sauce. I needed to get some more sunflower oil, barbecue sauce um, to go with some of our meat this week, a pack of chocolate biscuits for daddy. That was a present for him. Then moving on, this is my haul from the butchers. So basically, what have I got here? I've got pork chops, I've got some beef frying steak, I've got two portions of, chi portions of chicken breast, and I think there's probably about nine chicken breasts in total here. I've got some bacon, I've got a lot of chipolata sausages, I've got eight burgers, I've got a small chicken to roast, and I've got two packs of minced meat. Okay guys, so I've just portioned out all my meat and what I do, this is an example, here's some chicken breasts. Now these are fairly large chicken breasts, so even though we're a family of four, I'll put it into three and because the kids will normally split one. So I'll just write chicken breasts and then times three and then the date and then all this will get packed into the freezer um, and ready to go for the next, I think, how many meals do we have out of this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So for 30 pounds, 11 meals, that's not bad at all. All right, so I'm just going to go through my meal plan with you now. So tonight is Monday, and we are having beef burgers with salad and potato salad. Now, the kids are just having regular salad, but James and I will be having potato salad. On Tuesday, we're having a roast chicken with green beans from the farm and um, potatoes. I'm not sure how I'm going to do them. I'll probably just boil them with a little bit of butter and chives. On Wednesday, James and I are having prawn linguine and the kids are just going to have veggie linguine. They don't really like prawns. So whatever veggies I'm using with this, I'll just put in for theirs. So I'm not like really cooking two different meals, if that makes sense. And then on Thursday, um, Thursday is a busy day for us, so we're having honey pork chops, which will be done in the slow cooker with um, the rice and then whatever veg I decide to do that day. Friday, we always do Fishy Friday. And Friday, I tend to just um, do like a quick meal for the kids, which is just fish cakes, and then we're going to have sweet potato fries with them. I'll get something as well, but now on Fridays, we're going to start going to the rugby club, so potentially we might start having tea there. I'm not entirely sure. On Saturday, we've got some homemade pizzas. We tend to do that every Saturday. James has made a load of dough and put it into the freezer, so it's great. You can just get that right on out. 
And then on Sunday, I've started a new thing called Sunday stir fry, which basically means I use up whatever vegetables I have left in the fridge, add some meat or add some fish into it, and voila, you have a meal. Hey guys, so thanks so much for joining me on this grocery haul. Do let me know in the comments down below if you like um, seeing me sort of portion things out or how I put it away in my fridge as well as going through the meal plan. And I hope everyone has a great week. And if your kitties are going back to school, I hope all you mums are surviving and not shedding as many tears as I am. But let's have a great week and I'll see you guys soon. Thanks for watching, bye.